All right, so this is the one I was working on. Um, again, I can just quickly show you a study. I have study one, two, and three already designed here. So here are all my studies. Uh, just to let you know, uh, general design operates in synchronous and in order. So you, you can do it in both environments. So I have one in order. So let me go through and hide my design body and just step through my design. So this is the first one, more of a machine type process where it removed material, uh, but it kind of preserved the shape, made things a lot thinner. The second study I did, I said use more of a hollow, uh, hollow type features. And we ended up with this, uh, which is kind of uh, the second picture here. And again, this is what I actually 3D printed. So I did print this model out uh, and I, I paused it just to take a picture of it real quick. And here's the last case study, which is more of the tendril-like thing that uh, SD10 used to do. Uh, that uh, again, that would not be a very easy part to machine. Uh, there's some undercuts in there and some pretty pretty complex geometry. Uh, so I would not attempt to, to machine that, but easily 3D printable. All right. So just I can just, again, walk you kind of through the steps that I did to get to that. And I won't run the study. So, uh, again, what I wanted to do is the little strut area or for the shape of the wing, I wanted to kind of maintain these. So I would uh, preserve regions. Tell it those are the areas I want to work with and don't modify those. All right. Then I can come over here and do a pressure. Uh, you know, maybe you know the the force. Maybe we got a downward force and a force on the front, maybe, you know, three foot pounds of force. Or in this case, I used uh, TSI. Uh, then we're going to have it fixed. Again, this is not going to rotate, so it's going to be fixed at this location uh, under manufacturing settings. Prevent some uh, enclosed voids. Uh, tell it I don't want to have anything extend outside in my Z axis. And uh, go ahead and just run the uh, material extrusion in the Y. Uh, then I'm just going to adjust it. So I was kind of in this range to kind of get the shape I wanted. Hit OK. Uh, then it's just a matter of hitting generate and let it go through. And again, that would probably, I think I did this one. It took about 45 minutes to generate. Uh, so let me just turn these off and turn that back on. Then, oops, not that one, sorry, that one. And just show stress so I can turn, oh, well, I have all this, I have that study on too. The show stress does work. It just seems to want to show all the stress. So uh, you can actually see the stress risers in red. Uh, we don't get the simulation uh, like we do in the simulation bar where we have the little stress bar on the side. It tells you kind of the load and what the forces are. Here it's more of a blue, low stress, red, high stress area. So you can see towards the end of the wing here and along this facing trail, we get some more of the stress. All right, so that is generative design. And again, the ability to add as many studies and do as forces, uh, multiple forces, and you're ready to go, ready to print.